What's going on guys? My name is Harrison Evan. and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm teaching you how to distress, but specifically in the fear of God style. This is video one of two, and this video is gonna be mainly focusing on how to make jeans look like the fear of God indigo jeans. The second part will be going more into the purpose tour jeans. For this tutorial, you can use your own jeans, but I'm gonna give you a shopping list with exactly what you can get, including a pair of jeans that are only 40 bucks. I'm using a pair of H&M Slim jeans that I got from them in this light denim wash. This is pretty close to the color you can get of the fear of God jeans. You can use whatever jeans you want, but these are the closest that I could find for a pretty decent price. Second thing you're gonna need on your list is a little Dremel from Harbor Freight, it's about $10. Most people use scissors in this situation with distressing, but I am using a Dremel because it gives it that more distressed natural look rather than a straight cut line. Third thing you're gonna need is something sharp. I have an X-Acto knife from Target. You can also use like a thick needle if you need to. Lastly is some sort of box to put inside the pants when you're cutting them up. So fear of God indigo jeans mainly have three holes, one around each knee and then one on the upper thigh area. So I'm gonna map out where my knees are so I can and kind of get the feel of where I'm gonna cut. For the upper thigh, you're gonna do eight inches down from the pocket. When you get the drummer, you get a little box of attachments. All you're gonna do is take this top part off. You're gonna find a little gold piece like this that fits the sandpaper looking end over here. And then you're gonna make sure it fits. You're gonna put this side in here, put the top on, not screw it all the way and then put this part in. And you have to hold down this little button here so it'll screw all the way and then you're good to go. The reason I picked these H&M jeans is because the ones I have here from Top Man, they have really good holes in the knees, but they just are too tough and they're not stretchy at all like these. So it's easier to get these off because they're skinnier. I had to taper these from the knee down and they're just so hard to get off now. Next thing you're gonna do is take your box and slide it inside of the pants so you don't ruin the other side of the pants when you're going at them with the Dremel. This is the right side of the pants and it's gonna have two different holes. So for this, I'm gonna make this a bigger hole actually because there's not really much distressing with the lines here. So I wanna make it a little bit more open and on the other side, I'm gonna leave a little bit more fraying and distressing. Basically what you're gonna do for this is just kind of start from the middle and then make and dig down a line and so you can take away all this part here. And they keep asking me, are you gonna make it big like the kid on As you saw, the Dremel might get stuck a little bit. All you have to do is pull it out and it'll keep going. Just be careful with your hands so you don't get them caught. It's gonna get a little bit messy with all this denim flying around. So you're just gonna put that to the side as you go on so it leaves a little bit less of a mess for you to clean up in the end. What I'm doing is making a baseline across the top, leaving about an inch on each side from where the top of the knee is gonna be. So I have about an inch there. I'm gonna leave about an inch on this side as well. There we have the first cut and as you can see it's rugged, it's not perfectly straight and it looks a lot more naturally distressed. We have the bottom of where the knee is here. I'm gonna leave a little bit in the middle just so I can have a little bit hanging off the edges so it's not just a perfect hole. So next thing I'm gonna do is disconnect this whole part of denim here and just kinda of go with the Dremel this way and this way so it'll completely disconnect it. The last part that I'm gonna do is take a little bit more off the bottom just so I know that's where the bottom of the knee is gonna be so I have a little bit of more room and then I'll be good to go. Last thing I'm gonna do for this hole is on the part that we left a little bit of the denim on, we're gonna distress it a little bit more by going in, as you can see on here, this is the extra piece of denim. There are these white threads, and you can see where there's a cross weave pattern. I'm just gonna take the X-Acto knife to one of those threads and pull it up, and then pull it out. This is the most tedious process of the entire thing. Boys and men's jobs. Not good jobs, of course, but jobs with paychecks that can buy an old jalopy or pay for its gas or cover the tab on a big Saturday night. Once you get to the end of distressing, you'll be able to pull out all the blue instead of the white and you'll be done with that side. It's gonna look all crazy right now. You just gotta kinda pull it all out. When you wash it, it's gonna look a lot better. So for this side, I'm just gonna repeat the process of taking the knife, pulling all this out, and then making it distress, and then this knee will be completely done. Mm -hmm. 
you'll get to a point where you can end up just taking out the blue threads and then leaving the white on there and it becomes a lot easier. Basically just doing the same thing as you did with the white threads but with the blue and the other direction. Moving your way to the top of the right thigh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do about six inches above the original hole that we did, just so there's enough room. And then you're gonna go up here and you're gonna kinda do it lightly this time instead of digging deep because you wanna have a little bit of the thread showing because we're not gonna make a complete hole here. We're gonna leave this one with a little bit of threads on. As we're finishing up, we're gonna leave about an inch gap over here. Don't wanna to do too much, but I'm gonna take it to about here. Now I'm just gonna kinda of take off some of the frays on the ends just to clean it up a little bit. You're obviously gonna wash these afterwards, but what we're gonna do is just take up these little threads out right here just to clean it up a little bit for appearance now. I kinda of wanna pull a little bit of these threads out here, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the underside of the pant and we'll continue on. I took a minute to reset everything, just clean up a little bit. Now we're on the inside of the pants. I flipped them inside out. This is the upper thigh of the right side that we were working on. I'm just gonna take some of these threads and pull them up because I wanna give a little bit showing so it's not just like, just a hole. I wanna make it to where there's a little bit of the thread showing. So I'm gonna go in here, pull these up, Kind of just start pulling this out because obviously the top ones are going to be cut just because they were all cut in the process of the dremel but i'm just going to go ahead with the threads again and just kind of pull up on them try not to break them most of them are going to be broken at the top and just kind of work some of them out just so there's a little bit more distressing than than not So as you can see, this part is mostly done. I might clean up a little bit here or there, but I wanted to pull out like six to 10 threads on the top and the bottom, just to give it a little bit more look than just a hole, a little more edgier. These will probably break over time, but I just like the look of having a little bit more than none. We're gonna go ahead and get started on the left side. This is really gonna be very simple here, really just like the other side. Just gonna go from the top and the bottom. And I'm really not gonna be doing too much on this side, just making kind of a hole because the jeans on the Fear of God ones don't really have anything else in a the hole. They have a little bit of distressing on the top, which we'll get into just like the other side. But really this one is just mainly a huge hole in the middle of the knee. This side was relatively easy as you saw. I didn't want to get too much into it. I'm going to just do a little bit of fraying up here at the top like I did on the other side. You guys saw how to do it. So I'm going to kind of skip over the video for that. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead, put them in the washer, wash them, and then I'll show you guys how they look. Before you go ahead and move to the washer though, what you're going to want to do is put them on, make sure they fit, make sure you have enough room for your knees. If you don't, maybe take a little bit more off the top, take a little more off the bottom just so you can get them to they fit right. That's gonna wrap it up for this DIY video. I hope you guys enjoyed part one. If you wanna see part two, comment down below. It's not gonna be next Sunday, but probably the Sunday afterwards because I've got monthly pickups next Sunday. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know so I know to push out part two. Please leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe here if you're new. My name is Harrison. I post a video every single Sunday and every single Thursday, and I'll see you guys next week. This is Harrison, signing out. To you, I know there's gonna be haters out there gonna hate that you're wearing this shirt, but do you? The first thing that I have a gripe with with this shirt is that it has a fake cracking and the logo on the front. Compared to my